and thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. It is a massive haul. I didn't get it all in one go. Um, I got it in a couple of um, shipments. It's all from Sephora. Um, in case you didn't recognize my accent, I live in Ireland. Um, Sephora do ship here, but it's only certain brands and certain items. So I'm lucky enough to have a friend that lives in the United States and she uh, is a makeup artist as well so she gets lots of this kind uh, and sorry it's not all from Sephora, some from Ulta and other places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx where you can get loads of this kind. So um, and cosmetics are already far more cheaper in the United States than they are here so I get her to ship uh, some stuff over and on again when she finds some bargains she usually um, keeps it and so there's enough to ship out so these I got a couple of shipments over the two weeks and even with the price of adding shipment I think it's like around about £18 for £2 of um of a parcel so that's not too bad because I am definitely saving loads of money um because she does know how to get a bargain so this stuff here in fact there's some more stuff here that um we fit in the bag and i have just taken everything out of the parcels and thrown them in there because she bubble wraps things really really well and it would just take forever so i will go ahead and get started and the first thing i have is the i dream in chocolate collection so this is all about um two faces chocolate bonbon palette so if we open it up inside, that's the chocolate bomb bomb palette. Um, the eyebrow pencil, oh sorry, an eyeliner, lipstick, and the full size of the Better Than Sex mascara. I know somebody that wants this already, so I am not going to open it. Um, I just opened the box, so I'll be passing that on. So I got that for forty pounds. We've got forty dollars. And this, the palette alone sells about, about £35 here, so I thought that was amazing value. And yes, everything in the bag is not for me. I'll be passing some on, selling some on to family and friends. Um, they'll still be getting a bargain, and anything else I'll probably put on Depop or something. But to be honest, I think it'll mostly go to family and friends. And if you hear somebody in the background, that's my daughter. Who is killing herself watching, killing herself laughing watching me trying to film this video. Um, so the next thing I have is from Sh Chanel, Chanel Skincare. And I've an, another two in the bag somewhere. Because as I say, I just threw everything into the bag. So I got four little trial sizes of skincare for about $20, which is really, really good. So these ones are Blue Serum and Lou again de Chanel and I actually have a lot of travel sizes in here because um, they were going so cheap and to be honest it's a good way of trying the brand out and things like lipsticks and stuff you wouldn't really go through a full size one uh, very quickly anyway so this is why I love travel sizes and I do travel so it's a win-win right Next thing is, I think this is a limited edition, it's from Clinique and it's the Invisible Blend Powder and I just love the packaging and I think I only paid a couple of dollars for this but it has a cute little puff, it's absolutely gorgeous and the powder is inside and as far as I know they only do one shade in this powder, um, Invisible Blend and the packaging even though it's cardboard it is really really nice um, next thing is the travel size of the Too Faced melted um, lips and this one is in Queen Bee and this is the melted lips with the wand rather than the squeezy tube I have those in full sizes and they are amazing so I'll be passing this on to family and friends they were only five dollars which I thought was really really good uh, next thing I have is a Benefit Professional. This is one of their tiny little travel sizes. 
and I bought this in a set I think there was another three or four um, bigger ones for $15 which I thought was very good um, next thing also from benefits is a gift we purchased um, I bought this for about $8 it's um, a makeup bag that's the pattern they use in their boutiques of the wallpaper but there are two parts to the makeup bag it has this bottom part here and then a top part and for the $8 you do get some samples as well so there's the hula so that is the cream contour stick which I don't know if, if it's out in the UK there's also a travel size of their real primer and there is also the go go tint which I'm not sure if that's available here in the UK but I thought that was pretty good and I love the little mirror on the, the zipper there it was absolutely gorgeous no. Next thing, let's put that back in the bag. This is going to be long. The next thing is the Too Faced Festival palette, and um, it's well, I just call it the Unicorn palette. And. This is definitely not for me because I don't think I would wear the colours, although they're very pretty. And this was only $30, which I thought was pretty good. As I say, I think the palettes, the Too Faced palettes go for between $35 and $40 here. And I'm sure these are, I think, are limited edition. So, um, and I'm not sure, they're probably available on Cult Beauty or somewhere, but I'm sure that I'll know somebody that wants that. And also to go with it, I got this free with it, and it's the Too Faced um, little makeup bag. So whoever I'm going to be passing the palette on, obviously I'm going to um, give them that as well, because it's a perfect fur. Next thing I have is from Kiehl's. And it's a little pouch and it's full of some of their best sellers in travel size form. And this was a bit more expensive. This was $40, which it does seem expensive, but Kiehl's is expensive. And it's a good way of trying lots of their products out. There is about 10 or 12 products in there. Next thing is from Tarte. And it is their best in faux. Now, I thought at the first glance that these were false eyelashes. And they aren't. They are fibres, just like in a sort of mascara formula to build up on your lashes. And obviously it's a travel size. And this is only $5. And I'm not even sure if this is available here in the UK yet. I know Tarte is sold on QVC, but I don't think this is available yet. Next thing is from MAC, and MAC is far more uh, cheaper over in the States. And I thought this was really good. It's full of travel sizes. There's like a skin base, strobe cream, and mascara, and this is $15. So I thought this was really, really good for somebody that likes MAC. I'll be passing that on. Next thing is from Clinique. And it's their moisture surge. And I only pay a couple of dollars for that. So that's really good. The next thing is from Milk Cosmetics. And I think Milk Cosmetics is a Korean brand. And it's their sunshine oil, which I'm not sure... If that is um, skincare or it's um, a highlight oil, I have a funny feeling that's skincare and the milk cooling water. So I have a funny feeling the cooling water is for underneath the eyes for puffiness. I'll have to do a bit more research on that. But I think this was only about ten dollars, which is really good because that is expensive as well. 
Um, the next thing is from Milani, and they have a famous blush called Luminoso, and it's supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm, and this was only three dollars, which I thought was really good. And I can open it. So that's what it's like there. So I'm sure I know somebody that will want that one. The next thing is from Sephora and it's their gift for purchase for turning VIB uh, Rouge, their last year's gift. And I got this because it's one of their uh, brushes. One of their famous brushes is a foundation brush and this is just a little travel size. I think it's the air brush they call it. And this is just a little travel size version of it. And Sephora, um, although they do still ship to the UK, um, they won't send out any point perks anymore. You can still build up points, but you have to spend them in a Sephora store. So um, that's a bit disappointing. And I paid my friend about $8, um, so I thought that was pretty good because those brushes are expensive and it's a nice little keepsake to have. Um, next thing is from Mali. Mali is sold here on QVC and it's a liquid blush. Uh, it's brand new in the box and I think the shade is Mano Hold on. I think the shade is Manosa. That's it there. And it was four dollars, which I thought was okay. And I'm sure I know somebody that wants this blush. Next thing, more Too Faced, and it's the Shadow Endurance. And this was only five dollars, which I thought was good because. I think the Shadow Endurance is around 18, 18 to 21 pounds. So, a little travel size is good. Next is Becca. And this is a full size uh, Prosecco Pop powdered or pressed highlighter. Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Prosecco Pop. And this is only $17, which is pretty good because. I think they sell for about 28 here. So it's definitely the full size. And that's it there. And the only place that I can think of that sell back uh, in the high street here is Space NK. So I thought that was pretty good and I I know somebody that will want that. The next thing I have in my little bag of goodies is <coughs> from more two face and this is the hangover risk uh hangover um setting spray yeah little travel size and i got this one and another four or five um all in the set for 15 dollars which i thought was pretty good and it's a good way to try them out next is from tart again <laughs> And it's a full size lipstick in Park Avenue Princess. So Park Avenue Princess is their famous bronzer. And this is just the lipstick version. Um, I'm not even sure if it's out in the UK. But it is sort of like a bronzy colour. Um, yeah, I'll probably pass that on to somebody. But I'm noticing straight away that the actual package in this is cardboard. Which is extremely unusual. Unless they are doing it for um, environmental purposes, um, the bullet here is seen is metal, but the rest of the packaging seems uh, like cardboard, which is um, a bit cheap looking. But as I say, they might be doing it for environmental reasons because they are all about their Amazonian clay and natural products. And that one is actually made as his Amazon Amazonian butter. Uh, more Too Faced. And I think that was only still $5. Um, Stila is another brand that's cheaper in the States. And that is a travel size version of their uh, famous eyeshadow called Kitten. 
Loads of people use this for highlighting the inner corner of the eye. It's very reflective and that's just a little travel size version. I think it's cost me $4. Uh, next up is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills and this is a cream eyeshadow in shade silver. I got this cheap because it was swatched but I think I only paid a couple of dollars for it so um, I'm not going to complain. Let's see if I can swatch. So that's it there. It's pretty intense. Next up, another little pouch and this one is from Origins and I remember get the, this one had a little travel size night serum in it and this was eight dollars which I think is really good because this uh, stuff here is very expensive so that one's that. Next up is Laura Geller. Laura Geller is sold here on QVC and that is probably over £20 and I got it for six or seven dollars. It's a universal a setting uh, filter finish um, setting powder. So it's all the different colours in there. And I definitely, my sister likes Laura Geller so I definitely know somebody that would like that. Uh, next up is that's all the Too Faced setting spray and then one of them, there's a couple of them actually, there's the Hangover RX primer. So that's the creamy primer that has the coconut infused in it. So they all came uh, in a set with that other one that I just showed you for $15 which I thought was very good. Uh, next up is from It Cosmetics. And it's the Brow Power um, Eyebrow Pencil. I've tried this one before. This is in the shade Universal Taupe, which is good um, because it's not going to be too warm for uh, my skin or my hair colour. I think this is... It's okay. Um, it stays on very, very good. But the tip is not as good as a benef the Benefit tip. That's the little brush that fits on there and that's the tip. I don't think it's as fine as the Anastasia one but it's pretty decent and it was only $10. I don't know what price this is originally. I reckon it's about £18 maybe if you bought it from PVC. But um, there's a big axe to the barcode there, so I'm sure she got it um, at a discount somewhere. So that's that one. Next up, more Too Faced Hangover RX that I got in that set. Um, then Good Jeans Sunday Riley. I picked this up for $8, and there's another one. Um, in there too. I think I got the both for eight dollars, which is really really good value because Sunday Riley is very expensive, and it's hard to get um the travel sizes to try it out. And if you're going to be spending that much money on a skincare product, you do really want to try it out. So I thought this was a, a really amazing way to try it. Um, next up is. Some Tatcha Harper. And these are pure fine cleansers. And I picked these up in a set as well. There's two other little Tatcha Harper things in that bag somewhere. And I picked up the four products for $20, which is amazing because Tatcha Harper are really expensive. So that is a good way to try those out. And I nearly smashed the glass bottles. Next up is from Urban Decay and this is the one I'm done foundation in the shade light and I think I picked this up for $8 which is absolutely amazing. Um, 
benefit that is the new matte professional um to mattify the skin and i picked that up in that set when it showed that other professional and that's the other little chanel cream and there's a bare minerals uh prime time that's their famous primer and i picked that up a set with other bare minerals primers for about ten dollars so i'll probably find these at the bottom of the bag as well yep there is another prime that's the eyelid primer but that was in the same set There is another um, Tarte um, eyelash fibres. Um, a Dior primer, little travel size, and that I think it was only $5, which is amazing. Digging deep, and there's still loads of stuff left. So there is. More Bare Minerals Prime Time from that little set. And Estee Lauder Advanced Time Zone was a wrinkle cream. And that is a really decent size. And I think I only paid $10, which is absolutely amazing. And this is uh, their real lipstick and a little travel size. And I think there's another one in here somewhere. And I think I only paid $3. I think for the two of them and this is in the shade uh, Fuchsia Fever <laughs> Fuchsia Fever so I thought that was pretty good <laughs> another uh, melted lip and this is, one it is a squeezy tube and that's in the shade Chocolate Honey Right, this is another little set that I got and it's from Estee Lauder. I'm not going to take it all out, but there is an eyeshadow palette, um, mascara, and there are like really decent sizes of their skincare. And that was all $25. It was probably a gift for purchase, but um, that would make a really, really good present for somebody that likes um, Estee Lauder, especially the skincare. So, next up is La Mer. La Mer, another very, very expensive um, brand, and another brand that it's really hard to get samples on smaller sizes from. This is a mask, and I think I only paid eight dollars for it. And I do have a La Mer pouch. I thought that would go with my little limer pouch to give as a present to somebody so i'm glad they picked that up next up is from becca and it's a little travel size of their liquid shimmering skin protector in opal it's a pretty decent size and that was only five dollars I think the full size is around 20 something pound so um, I mean it would probably take you a long time to just get through that so that is a really good way of trying that out and what else do I have? A little bag of goodies that's the other benefit lipstick that was in that set um, Milk Cosmetics um this is a highlighter and i think i only paid about three dollars or four dollars for that one this milk aesthetics is very expensive as well um what else alginus eye renewal bar this is brilliant i think i paid maybe ten dollars or something for this but the full size is really expensive I think I want to say it's over 60 um it really is good I've used it before and that's why I bought it um it does make a difference with fine lines I don't know about puffiness or dark circles but definitely fine lines this is really good eye cream so I'm happy that I picked it up and that one's definitely for me 
more Chanel and this one is called La Solution uh, Tan de Chanel. Right. I think all the rest of the stuff is absolutely freebies. Hold on. There's more uh, benefits. That's the original professional that I made for that set. And yeah, I remember this is the Tardy the Tardis uh, Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. So I think I only paid about three dollars for that, which is really good for trying that out. I'm not even sure if that's available in the UK yet. And what else do we have? Oh yeah. Smashbox the photo finish primer. I think I only paid a couple of dollars for that. And that is the other two things from the Tatcha Harbour set. I think they are nutrient complex, replenishing nutrient complex. That seems like um they're a serum. So that then um I think that is about it. And then I've got a lot of freebies that my friends uh, threw in for me because I bought so much stuff. Um, I guess this is a highlighter, illuminator. I think this is a highlighter brush, or I suppose you could just use it uh, for anything. I'm not sure who the brand is. That's it there. little carded sample of um, Narcisco Rodriguez and a cleanser DTRT never heard of them before um, the new moisturizer from Glam Glow a Sephora foundation a sample it's a four eyeliner. Um, a cover FX foundation samples. The two feet spike, a lot of little samples are in. Um Makeup River um foundation sample, which is really good because uh, Makeup River is in Devon's here and when I asked for a sample they wouldn't give me one. And Urban Decay Prime and Perfect sample. Um, Amane lip product. I'm not sure what that is. And Mary Kay. I've heard of them before. I think they're a bit like Avon, where you sell among your family and friends, and that looks like it's a lipstick. Um, Origins uh, moisturizer, white tea. Evology, um, that's a cleanser. Buxom uh, mascara, it's called Big Teas. Um, Sephora mascara, Lashcraft. Another um, prime time eyelid primer from Bare Minerals. So that's from that set that I bought. Garnier Skin Active, um, their oil absorbing paper. Um, some Cat Body Lock of Foundation and Primer samples. A Tarte Blusher and Bronzer sample. And a Clinique sample. I think that's about it. And last but not least, from Lancome, um, a foundation sample. Look, it doesn't feel very. Oh, they're just wee carded samples. So that is everything. So it was pretty long, and I thought I was going to maybe separate it into two videos, but I'm going to stick it into one. 
So if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free. Or if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.